Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about each of the zodiac sign, how they would be influenced by the Pisces full moon over the course of next two weeks. We have already gone into the detail of what the Pisces full moon will bring to the collective, both in the September lunation video where I went into a detail of it along with the geopolitical impact of it. And then in the weekly video also I have covered it. So take a look at that if you have not just to take a overview of what's going to happen as a result of the Pisces full moon and what it means for us. Just few highlights before we go into each of the zodiac sign. This will bring back themes of 2015 in your life when the eclipses happened at this point, specifically March to November of 2015. If you would like to go back and relook at that part of your life, this is 28 degree of mutable sign. So at 28 degree of mutable sign, especially Pisces, there will be culmination ending and release that will come with it. This is a harvest full moon. So new information which was hidden from us can also come to light. And with that will come conclusions and release. And we would be possibly creating something ethereal with this full moon over the course of next two weeks which can be creative in nature which can be spiritual in nature which could be a product of our selfless love which will grow in 2022 with jupiter visiting these very degrees in may of 2022 and november of 2022 so this will be a key theme of 2022 for you as a part of your growth journey in 2022 and it will not just be part of your growth this will be your contribution to the collective to especially to the collective healing that we will go through in 2022 so the creative breakthroughs the epiphanies the brilliance that you're having right now that would come handy for the social evolution as well as the collective healing that will come about in 2022 especially with the jupiter pluto sextile which will happen in may of 2022 so look at the imagination fantasy creativity that you are exuding over the course of next two weeks and how to give physical form to that because pluto in 2022 will help you not just make a formal structure of that a physical career or a sort of a physical setup to it it will also add influence wealth and gainfulness to it so that's what we are working with look at your rising sign that is most accurate and then followed by sun or moon sign sun sign i've seen most people definitely know accurately that's why i always suggest to look at sun sign the rising is most accurate to know Moon sign is more relevant from a personal life perspective or emotional life perspective. But the combined effect of all three of them will tell you what are the themes for the next two weeks for you all the way till 6th of October. My name is Charu. I'm your host on this journey. Let's dig in. Hi Sagittarius. Sagittarius, the full moon of 21st of September, which will influence us till 6th of October, is bringing to focus your home and personal life. So something related to real estate, home, family, your parents' health, or people who are dependent on you emotionally, uh, which are part of your personal life and your own emotional fulfillment, it will come to focus over the course of next two weeks. And we are asked to strike a balance between what we are doing in our external life, especially if you have started a new career or a new job. We are asked to balance that with a change in our personal life, with a change in emotional patterns, with a change in how we handle home and family and our inner world. This is a process which has been long in making. This could be something that was seeded in 2015 where something shifted uh, dramatically through some faded events in your personal life and in your emotional life. This is especially true if you have planets around 28 degree of Sagittarius, which is around 20th of December born. Neptune, though Sagittarius as a whole for your sign, has been visiting your house of emotional foundations, home and family since 2011. And it is one of the toughest transits of Neptune to have because Neptune is all about 
loss of boundaries and not knowing where you stand and when it is in our house of foundations it's like the very ground we stand on is not steady we don't know where we stand when it comes to a family a personal life or place of living and it makes it very difficult to proceed forward in a very strong and sure manner in our career because of that so it has been a possibly a source of confusion and even a lot of selfless giving when it comes to your personal and emotional life and now something comes to a head in that it could be that you have to make a tough decision when it comes to your personal life where you have to decide and now you sort of see things very clearly this is the degree of flooding so it's possibly that some sort of a leakage in the house water damage in a real estate <coughs> excuse me or a personal secret or something that was we knew but we were being permissive about when it comes to a personal life a family life or sometimes parents health it comes to focus and it needs to be dealt with with some changes which are not easy to make this is where the boundaries that we have with our loved ones with the others in our life who live with us that is very low and we are asked to selflessly give to them and this is a process which you have been in for many years now but something comes to a head when it comes to home property family family connections the privacy and peacefulness you have at home or with family that comes to focus so you want to achieve that and for that a change needs to be made on a more psychological level because this is the emotional foundations you have and how you view your inner world on a more psychological way you are looking for peace you are looking for privacy you are looking for more spiritual comfort and you would bring that by making some changes in your life to bring that about and it may not happen in the most easiest of the ways because there might be some element of loss which is attached to personal life in this something has to be given up in order for you to achieve the new spiritual balance in your life new emotional balance in your life it's like one phase of family life ends for another one to begin one way of being in your emotional life in your family life it ends for a new way of being either in your external life or in your personal life it needs to like the old chapter in your personal and family life has to end this is where a shift happens physically in home which could come in form of relocation or it could be a shift in giving up an actual tradition a family pattern a tradition that you were born with and it may not be a bad thing it could just be that this emotional pattern of connecting with others was actually holding you back to find peace in your personal life and now some forgiveness of the past when it comes to your family life forgiveness to how things were when either you were a child with a parent or forgiveness to an old family connection or the way to be in family and releasing that needs to be done for you to move forward sometimes we call it unconditional love or grounding but it it is actually chains that need to be dissolved so some of the emotional patterns they are not serving you well in order for you to progress forward both progression emotionally as well as in your professional life there is a emotional pattern that needs to be dissolved and it might come with a separation or a dissolution and some of you might have already gone through this process because neptune is already at 22 degree so sagittarius before 22 degree which is around um, uh, which is around 14th of december born sagittarius sun um 12th to 14 of december born before that so all of the end november and the early december born sagittarius you've already gone through this process which has brought about changes in your personal life it could put an ocean between us and our family members sometimes this is where 
we move away from our parents or from our family values or our old family patterns and a new form of love emotional satisfaction spirituality is found to bring more peace to yourself and it is something that you have to do as a forward progression of your life and it might require some amount of seclusion or disengagement from others for you to process what is happening right now home becomes a center of spiritual practice or a place where you need selfless love to exist and because of that we have to change what home stands for you which means that we may not live where we were born or we might have to live in a situation where we don't know what is the place do we belong to like which is our home the clarity is not there and we have to become comfortable within us create a home within our own self to be okay with the fact that we may not know our living condition clearly while neptune is here till 2025 and the reason for this transit is because you're being asked to dissolve the old stable crown which used to give you support anything anything external that used to give you stability and support whether it is your family or it is the place of living anything that used to make you feel home which was external to you that is being dissolved because the old structure has to be dissolved for a new and a more elevated version of personal life a more satisfied emotional spiritual existence needs to come in which means that the old emotional patterns and dependencies they need to be dissolved and this would be a progression in that step and you might have gone through a process of that back in 2015 on a more immediate basis this is usually a home project it could be a home decoration relocation signing a new lease buying new property uh, concluding a deal when it comes to property especially a property closer to sea which is recommended for you uh, but be careful of any water damage if you're buying a property right now be careful about it, that it does not have any moss or water damage it is something that you with this transit are susceptible to so making sure that there is no water damage or anything which you don't see clearly like mold is the kind of thing that we don't or decay some sort or moss essentially be careful of that but staying somewhere close to sea or ocean like a boat home or a just a, a country or a place which if you can afford it being closer to water is something that will bring you more spiritual happiness and more joy similarly just having a water feature in the house or decorating the home in a more beautiful fashion improving the home uh, and making it more beautiful it will help you psychologically immensely spirituality could help immensely and this could be a time when your spiritual health um and its impact on your psychology and an, even in your career and how you're handling the external changes you're going through when it comes to your career with both uranus in your house of job um as which is bringing sudden changes and need for freedom when it comes to your day to day work you you need to find something which holds you right when you're going through those changes so these two weeks are for you to find your peace your moksha your spirituality your core that holds you despite these waves of changes in your personal life that you're going through and it may not be in another person it may not be external to you this is something you'll have to find yourself and neptune elevates what you desire out of your spiritual life which you did not have before so you crave for this spiritual peace within yourself which you did not realize before that that you needed there's a desired ideal when it comes to your emotional life when it comes to your personal life because of which as well the old structure and old family equations they need to be given up many times with this placement we have a family pattern which might be how we connected with one of our parents which is which actually becomes a hindrance in us being able to move forward in our marriage life or personal life in general so we recognize a traditional home pattern which we have possibly inherited from one of our parents and we start 
because of our early upbringing we start believing that because our parents were like this that is how i am going to live my life as well especially in my personal life that chain that boundary that conditioning of be, of early conditioning needs to be deconditioned needs to be left behind for you to move forward this can also be the time when some secret or truth can come out or an issue can come out when it is related to your family or especially family property uh if you are if you have a joint family property that can come uh into focus with as i said you might be actually uh dealing with some real estate matter at this time just be careful of one thing when neptune is here we tend to overspend on property uh, we buy property which is beyond our means sometimes with neptune over here you should get a beautiful home and that brings you peace but money is a factor you possibly need to consider uh next year jupiter will be in your house of real estate and property and home and family life and it will help expand the value of your property or uh, bring more support when it comes to your emotional life and it brings more peace more knowledge more happiness when it comes to our inner world which helps us take more in the external world and that is a very positive transit that you would experience in 2022 what will happen along with that transit is that pluto in your house of money and resources and self worth is going to make a powerful sextile with this so it will feed into and help you discern money making opportunities when it comes to real estate so it's possible if you have to give up a property or a real estate right now or you might be evaluating something know that it can become the property being evaluated right now being judged right now um, or if you have to even if you have to let go something right now you're making an investment for future which will grow next year when pluto and jupiter combine forces and money from family businesses money from family matters money from real estate uh, money from psychological professions money from having a home based uh, spiritual practice or just having a meditation or a center of to to help you ground you within you that will help you in your monetary pursuits that will help you in creating value for you when it comes to money so it's possible like we cannot really work on our skill set if we are not sure of ourselves neptune over here makes us doubt everything that we are because it's sitting in your foundation you don't know who you are it's like a existential thing that happens i don't know who i am because of the confusion about who i am supposed to be as a family person there becomes a there becomes a confusion about who we are as a person and with that place of confusion it's very difficult to ask for your true worth when it comes to money and pluto in your house of money and resources has caused a rebirth in your resources it comes with dramatic shifts in resources it comes with power struggles in money with family sometimes like ownership of property is disputed when pluto is here so you're going through a lot of changes when it comes to money financial security and it might be that you need to fight for your right to your own property or for your rightful share when it comes to money but at the same time as you're going through the rebirth in money it is making you obsessive as well as giving you the relentlessness to pursue a skill set that will become the source of immense resources for you it will become very valuable for you but to go and grab it as it called right i i, I know the skill but to make money from it if i have such a flaccid personal situation going on it's very difficult for you to go get it and so pluto is saying go 
earn money from a different source of income i am giving you a rebirth in your resources and pushing you to learn a new skill set pushing you to see earnings in a different way also i am going to give a rebirth to your value system so you should have no problem in reinventing yourself as a person it almost is forcing you to reinvent your worth self worth and net worth and it is giving you an obsession to create value through a new skill set that it is asking you to learn but without having a stable personal situation it's almost like you are not able to get um get, get that guts to do it so neptune transit in these two weeks with this full moon you have to give up some sort of bondage and chain that is not letting you proceed and get your true worth because next year will be very important for you to create value out of your skills when pluto and jupiter combine together in may of 2022 that's where the best of the two worlds come together your belief in your own self and an expansion of your inner world and the support you have from your personal life that combines forces with this rebirth you've been going through in your skill set in your resources in your money houses and that's the period to go get it but before that there is a personal situation you need to finally tackle for once which is blocking you you have to finally integrate that and come to a conclusion of that and it's not easy because some sort of security or base is being dissolved when that happens but at the same time you have to recognize that you are reaching a higher and a different mode of connecting with yourself the knowledge we gain about ourselves in this process of going through this ups and down with family it makes you very it's almost like you need to become independent emotionally independent like you cannot depend on anybody external to you for emotional strength and that creates and redefines who you are as a person it's like the whole childhood or what you came from and who you were before this is dissolved and this new persona that you're creating for yourself is independent is self contained is most connected with its own intuition instead of depending on anybody external to them to define who they are it's like when we were born this is the house where our parents condition us our early upbringing conditions us and we carry that conditioning all our life when neptune comes here which happens for very few signs because it's a 14 year transit 2011 to 2025 it's like everything and anything we were brought up with it is dissolved you have a chance to create a persona which is just your own and in that with that gift and it is a gift you create the family patterns which are your own you create the traditions that are your own you create the definition of home that is your own you create the definition of spirituality peace which is your own and from that place of new home within you then you can go and get your true worth then you can get the kind of returns for your efforts for your skills that you desire and right now pluto is standing still in your house of money there would be you seeing a way to make that money because pluto gives you insight also into how to create worth for yourself and not a small worth for yourself pluto wants you to be financially powerful materially powerful and powerful in your ego powerful in your self worth powerful in your sense of worth so it has detoxed any weak part of you whether it is a doubt in your skills whether it is a doubt in your worth whether it is a family value a traditional value that is holding you back to move forward it has 
slowly with a process of restructuring and rebirth it has removed any weakness from your sense of worth and it is still in the process of it but it's already at 24 degree most of you have already gone through that process it is only left with one and a half years of existence in your house of finances it makes a person know how to make money even in crisis it creates a person who can come back from anything financially especially so having learned that skill now release and dissolve whatever is grounding you release and dissolve whatever is causing this ups and down when it comes to your inner life and create a home or an emotional pattern which is different from what you were brought up with because you are creating your own personal existence now it is like you are giving birth to your own self whatever gave whosoever gave birth to you and you have um fond memory i'm sure of some of it but that pattern of connecting with family in some ways has served its purpose and now you need to find your own way you need to find a healthier living situation and the next two weeks will be critical in in finding your sea legs when it comes to your home and personal life So that's what I have for you uh, Sagittarius hope it was helpful I'll see you in the next reading now thank you